Hey guys, I'm Shantanu Dasi back again with another video for Analytics India magazine recapping everything that has been happening in the world of artificial intelligence. I have gathered the top stories of the day, so let's just not waste any more time and jump right into our stories. Our first story is about Mayflower 400, which is world's first unmanned vessel to navigate across the Atlantic Ocean. So marine researchers at Promair teamed up with IBM as technology partner and together they built world's first autonomous ship, intelligent ship, which is known as Mayflower 400. This ship was completely handled by artificial intelligence and it was powered by solar energy. And the objective of this vessel was to collect a lot of data across a vast period of time. There are some downfalls to this artificial intelligence as it does not know how to conduct itself in a worse weather than it currently has been sailing in. But they are saying that in the coming phase, the boat will be able to correct itself and then learn itself like a human. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about DRDO developing an artificial intelligence algorithm that can detect the presence of COVID-19 from just analyzing the x-rays of the patients. Sometimes this new variant of coronavirus remains undetected in the RT-PCR test, hence you have to do a CT scan of your lungs to find out if the infection is there or not. But in places like India, a lot of rural hospitals do not have the facility of CT scans and people have to travel long distances to get one done. This algorithm and this tool is especially beneficial for those locations where CT scan and other modern technologies are not available. This algorithm is showing an efficiency of above 95% and it has been trained using sophisticated data. This is developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization combined with the Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics. So this algorithm is very efficient and it has been trained with sophisticated data of the x-rays from previous patients at different times in their COVID-19 recovery progress. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about BMW's new art which has been created using machine learning algorithms. So for BMW's 50th anniversary, they came up with this brilliant idea of creating art-inspired BMW cars or at least the virtual rendition of these art-inspired BMW cars by leveraging NVIDIA's open source style gen artificial intelligence software to cross-reference over 50,000 images of artwork which is spanning 900 years and then coming up with 50 brilliant ideas that the artificial intelligence developed by cross-referencing those artworks and they have virtually renditioned these cars for display. So this was a great marketing campaign in which artificial intelligence was heavily integrated in order to promote a particular product. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about artificial intelligence has developed a sense of smell and how it is going to change every industry. So we already know that artificial intelligence can visually recognize things and take decisions according to it in image recognition or in autonomous self-driving cars which take decisions based on the video that they are seeing. Similarly, an AI that recognizes smells has also been developed. So basically how we smell things is that a kinetic energy from a product releases its odor in the air in its molecules and we inhale those molecules from our nose and then we can smell the product. Similarly, researchers have created bionic sensors to inhale these tiny molecules of smell and then it goes into the artificial intelligence algorithm and the algorithm matches it with the existing data that has been fed into him and then it recognizes a particular smell. So this technology can revolutionize a lot of industries. It can engineer the new perfect car smell in the automotive industry. It can predict when maintenance is required by understanding the smell of industrial or automotive equipment. It can revolutionize the food and beverage industry by automatically identifying the food spoilage or it can reduce the time of research and development for new foods and beverages. It can ensure that fragrances of personal care products like deodorants and shampoos last for a long time. It can be used in various public places to soothe their customers or soothe their clients. So this is an extra sense added into an artificial intelligence which is going to revolutionize our world for the better. Moving on to the last story of our day, our last story is about the streaming juggernaut which is Netflix and how its recommendation algorithm works. So 80% of Netflix viewership comes from the suggested things that Netflix suggests its user 
rather than them going on to the website and searching for the shows they want to watch. So Netflix is using analytics tools since the early 2000s and now its algorithm is getting so sophisticated that it is successful more often than not. So Netflix presents each of its user with a different home page and these are ranked according to a lot of factors that are taken into consideration by its algorithm. These rows are generated by algorithm for separate individuals by ranking systems. They use different type of ranking systems such as personalized video ranking, top and video ranking, trending now ranker, continue watching ranker and video to video similarity ranker. Each of these algorithms then go into a row generation process to give the perfect video to the appropriate row. So this algorithm gets better every time you interact with it and it records the data and it uses it to improve itself. Netflix uses a lot of approaches and for ranking your rows they use three approaches row ranking, stage wise approach and machine learning approach. But most important is the machine learning approach which aims to create a scoring function by training the model using historical information of the home pages which home pages have attracted the particular user the most. So another important thing that this algorithm does is it chooses the image to show you for the show they are promoting based on your likes and dislikes. So to dumb it down, if Netflix recognizes that I like Brad Pitt, he'll start showing me movies that have Brad Pitt in it with his photo front and center. Even for the movies that he is barely in or he has made a cameo in but his photo will be front and center so that it can attract me even more. So that's how Netflix grabs your attention and keep you on their website as long as they can because they are competing in this highly competitive streaming market for a limited amount of eyeballs and this is how their algorithm is helping them to win. So that's about it. Those are all the stories that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, click on the thumbs up. That really helps us a lot. I recommend you read all these stories in their entirety. Links for them will be in the description down below. And while you are down there, click on that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you never miss any other update from Analytics India magazine.